He must be trying to race. Fuck. He must not know I will blow his gasket, bitch. What is that? A four? Bitch, that shit like a 1977. Stop playing with me. I will blow your shit. Okay, get out here and jog. It's too damn hot for that, though. Girl. Hey, y'all. I'm driving. And I'm just, I'm, I've been in this bitch talking to myself all fucking day. And it's so funny because I'm just like, who are you even talking to? Which way can I go from here to get to Chick-fil-A? Because if I have to go all the way past my house just to go to Chick-fil-A, it's going to bother me. Because that right there made him cry all motherfucking night. <laughs> Is that a fucking go-kart? That's a slingshot. I hate those. I feel like that's so fucking obnoxious to even own. Y'all know them fucking slingshot cars? I feel like you such a head ass if you own... Like, nigga, are you legit? <laughs> are you dead ass, nigga? That nigga right there look like Owen Wilson. Fuck, country ass white boy. <laughs> nigga driving a slingshot. Nigga, go home. The fuck? You got money. We get it, nigga. <laughs> this bitch got on a fucking bubble coat. Bitch, it's, it's 83 degrees. I need to put my seatbelt on. That's so crazy. Because I just told somebody else I need to put my seatbelt on. And I still ain't put that shit on. It's a stud. Let me see. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love studs. I like studs. Studs be fine as fuck. And it stress me out because a lot of people be like, you know, like, when you masculine, you don't need to be messing with another masculine woman. Bitch, says who? The fuck are you talking about, bitch? You're not going to tell me what the fuck I can't do with my coochie? Shit. My coochie want to meet another dyke coochie. She going to meet it. Don't play with me, bitch. I'll wipe your goddamn nose. I'm going to show you who a boy. No. <laughs> How do I get from Chick-fil-A from over here? Why are you sitting over there? What are you doing? What's going on in the world? You know, poverty and homelessness really fucking bothers me because like, like Tupac said, how the fuck we got people hitting the lottery for billions and millions of fucking dollars, but niggas don't be having homes and food. Like that's fucking insane to me. Don't bring that pretty ass challenger out here, bitch. I hit it. Boy, okay, big boot ass nigga. Niggas be thick. Thick ass nigga. <laughs> big booty ass. I think he just had a lot of booty. How do I get to Chick-fil-A from here? Why would you turn that big red ass fire truck in front of me, bitch? Long ass Tahoe. I didn't even know they still made Tahoes. Do they still make Tahoe? Yeah. What what is that big truck that they don't even make no more? What's that big ass truck they don't make it no more? It's so crazy how all these people are over here at this Calabar and Grill and we we finna go back on lockdown. That's so crazy to me. That's insane. That niggas really just don't give a fuck what the government says. And I love it. Fuck the government. <laughs> I'm going to start doing whatever the fuck I want to because that's what the government's doing. <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Like, they legit just told us, like, we don't need to be at no type of super spreader events. And niggas still just be out here all in each other's face, coughing, laughing, sharing hookah, sharing drinks, taking shots, sharing blunts. I like that for us. Don't listen to these niggas. It's half the time they be, I'm talking about half the time. Bitch, all the time they be lying the fuck anyway. Always lying about some shit. That's a problem now. Always lying. Then trying to figure out why all these people scared of that damn vaccine. I'm scared of that shit because y'all lie too much, bitch. Why do you think I'm going to get some shit and you've been lying to me since the beginning of time? Not going to get that shit. Y'all be fucking lying to people. Got niggas scared as shit out this bitch. <laughs> niggas literally gave black people syphilis on purpose. And you think I'm just gonna fix my legs to walk my black ass into a goddamn clinic and be like, yeah, I'm here for the vaccine. Fuck no. <laughs> Shoot me up with goddamn ringworm and shit, bitch. Lice. <laughs> and I can't even get fucking lice. I'm black. Somehow, some way, I'm gonna get it. Fucking with that damn vaccine, bitch. Not playing with y'all niggas. I, I hate little ass cars with aggressive ass drivers. Cause that's not even that that's not even the type of car for that job. Calm the fuck down. What is this behind me? This is it's like a fucking 1967 Volvo. Calm, <laughs> calm the fuck down, nigga. Like this nigga's so aggressive behind me in this fucking Volvo. Like it's not it's not giving what the fuck you think it's giving. That's him. Do you hear bitch? Loud ass little tiny ass car. Little baby car, nigga. 
tiny <laughs> little ass car. Oh fuck, how do I get a Chick-fil-A? Damn, that nigga flying. Y'all must be racing. Let me see. Hell yeah. Niggas racing like fuck. I'm finna get in on it. <laughs> Let me get in on it. Fuck you talking about. Boy, you did all that. You at the red light. Dumb ass nigga. <laughs> this nigga just this nigga was just zooming, nigga. Nigga said, ka chow, ugly ass. And you at the red light. How you feel? Cause that shit be pissing me off sometimes. When I be speeding, I get stopped at a red light. It be pissing me off. Cause I be like, fuck. Thought I was doing a dash. No, nah, nigga, you wasn't. Look at this nigga. You <laughs> move the fuck up. Cause like, get out my goddamn vlog, bitch. Get out my goddamn vlog, bitch. Big ass kidnapper van. Big, them, them one of them goddamn trucks that they put fucking kids in when they take them. Let me show y'all. Where is that? Damn, bro. That, you see, why is he? <laughs> why are you looking over here so hard? That's one of them goddamn kidnapper trucks. Do your due diligence, bitch. You better be out here on Friday because it did be goddamn cracking. Shit. Cracking like a whip out this bitch. Cracking like a fucking slave on a whip. East Atlanta, you niggas be on some other shit on Fridays. I be scared as fuck just to come out the house. Don't come out the house cause the gang outside. Let me put my phone down a little bit. I'm passing by the police. If he light them ugly ass blue lights up on me, I swear to God I'm a scream. <laughs> cause bitch, I just don't have it in me. I don't have it in me to get pulled over. I don't. Cause I'm gonna all I'm gonna automatically assume the worst. And I'm gonna be like, they finna shoot me. Because for one, I have a smart ass mouth. For two, I like to argue. Like sometimes I just don't know when to shut the fuck up and let shit be. And for three, I always feel like somebody trying me. I just don't have it in me to get pulled over. If I ever see lights behind me, I'm probably more than like 10 times out of 10, I'm I'm just gonna do the dash. I'm going to. I don't have no other choice. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make me a hashtag. You not gonna have my family in the streets talking about say her name. No, don't say my name. Actually conjure me the fuck up. Bring me back to life, bitch, because I will handle this shit my goddamn self. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you better do some root work, bitch, and conjure my ass back up. Cause I'm coming to haunt these niggas. How do I get to Chick-fil-A? That bitch big and sexy. A Ram 2500? Might need to give me one of them. I want a big ass truck. I want a big truck. I told y'all this before. I want one of them big redneck trucks. The big ass wheels. I want one of them trucks I gotta fucking hop out of. Like on everything I love. I want a big ass. I wanna start that bitch up and that bitch be like, Foo! <laughs> I wanna start that bitch up and that bitch growl, nigga. Y'all heard Chief Keith? What Chief Keith got? A track hawk or something? He got something. Y'all heard how that bitch sound? That bitch was like, boo, boo, boo. I said, ooh, bitch, my pussy wet. I want some diabolical shit, bitch. I want the fucking Batmobile. What the hell you listening to? Let me see. Okay, girl, that girl playing Chris Brown. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I want a motherfucking, I want something big and diabolical. I want the fucking Batmobile. Batman get on my fucking nerves. I feel like he just be doing too fucking much sometimes. Like, who the fuck even calls you, bitch? Who calls me? You thick as fuck on that motorcycle, auntie. Big boot ass on that damn motorcycle. Who the fuck calls Batman? Who calls that nigga? Nobody called you. <laughs> Hold on. Don't nobody be calling that nigga. That nigga just come to the scene breaking niggas ankles and fucking dislocating shoulders and shit. Nobody even called you, Bruce Wayne pissing me off that's how you know he a real fucking white man he be on some real republican shit just inserting his ass where the fuck he don't need to be inserted who the fuck hold on who the fuck be calling batman nobody calls that nigga like who the fuck who's robbing the bank and they're like oh my god call batman and nobody says that nobody's calling bruce wayne bro he just insert himself and it's like he be whooping people bro he Batman be wiping niggas noses. Who the fuck be calling Batman on some real shit? Who be calling that nigga? Ain't nobody even called you and said nothing to you about a motherfucker robbing a bank. Next thing you know, he crashing it. And then, and then he be making shit worse than what it, what it is. He comes and he make the situation more than what the fuck it really is. He be ruining shit, bro. 
he crashes into he don't even use the door like normal fucking humans and pedestrians this nigga he'll crash into the roof of the fucking bank he'll crash into the roof of the bank he don't even ask no questions he just start grabbing people and beating them the fuck up how do you even know who the culprit is bitch he don't even be knowing who the fuck the culprit is he'll just like come in boom crash into some shit start grabbing niggas beating niggas up breaking niggas collarbones fucking splitting fucking spleens and shit just whooping ass and it's just like who called this nigga this nigga is the real villain he's the real villain and then like something else i noticed about him get rid of the joker ad. i love the joker the joker is my favorite villain but get rid of that nigga that nigga is your arch nemesis he's the he's the main problem of a lot of your fucking life problems you know what i'm saying get rid of that nigga bro get rid him rid the city of that nigga he just he always let that nigga get off he always just letting that nigga just like run rampant and run fucking free you got this nigga in your hands break his fucking neck nigga the way you be breaking all these other niggas necks break his neck bitch always playing that's his fucking problem now he always somewhere playing hold on y'all I just want a frosted lemonade, shawty. Why the fuck you keep walking away from my goddamn car? Come here. Bitch! <laughs> Ain't gonna get shit. I'm drop my goddamn card. Hey, can I card? Card. Hey, can I just get a large frosted lemonade? Oh, we got ice cream. Fuck off. All right. I'm so sorry. No, you're straight. Thank you, though. Okay. Man, they hold you told me they add an ice cream. Boy, I love the feeling you bring to me. Oh, you turn me on. This is exactly what I've been yearning for. Give it to me strong. And put my body up. <laughs> when somebody said, no, nah, I, I, I like it, like it. Because I may be bad, but I'm perfectly good. At <coughs> oh, shit. Hurry up, nigga. Tight ass shirt. <laughs> nigga shirt tighter than a hoe. Oh, fuck out the way. And look at these niggas. Security guard don't be doing they motherfucking job. Don't be doing shit. I hear smoking fucking cigarettes and shit. Nigga, do your due diligence. <laughs> what the fuck? That nigga shirt was just so tight tight ass shirt i need to get some gas before i be walking <laughs> you got a yield sign use it yeah i know you and your mama shit your mama know your mama know you driving her shit like that crazy girl <laughs> i hold you fly bitch use your yield sign you coming off a goddamn ramp flying the fuck you think this is you think you dominic toretto do your mama know you driving her Honda? and look here she come she boy, hey y'all know like in like movies and cartoons and shit and they be like they're gaining on us that is the funniest shit to me bro that shit bro this hoe is like flying like you don't have anywhere to go this nigga in front of me going slow and this nigga right here beside me going slow so i don't know where you think you're gonna go but you need to calm the fuck down because if you hit me or if you hit them and they hit me i'm gonna hit every fucking body that hoe flying where she at <laughs> they're gaining on us that is the funniest shit to me it's so funny to me i don't know why but it's just so fucking funny like in scooby-doo <laughs> in scooby-doo when like when they begin chased by like the, the bad guy <laughs> and shaggy be like they're gaining on that scoop that should be having me screaming because like and Bitch, if I was school, I'd be like, Shaggy, y'all don't give a fuck. Why them boys ain't talking about shit on my mama they not? Like, oh, whoop they ass, nigga. Why is, why is your Jeep periwinkle? It wasn't even like a regular purple. It wasn't even at least like lavender. This bitch got a periwinkle Jeep. These hoes want to be different so bad in Atlanta, and it's annoying. Because <laughs> it's not even that goddamn serious. Like, bitch. <laughs> They're ganging on us. <laughs> oh, let me tell y'all the fuck. Just, so I'm at Chick Fil A. Did y'all hear that bitch talking about some? We ain't even got no ice cream. Okay, so go get some. <laughs>
the fuck? You telling me you ain't got ice cream like I'm supposed to do something. Go get some fucking ice cream. The fuck is you telling me that for, bitch? Just trying to give me a frosted lemonade. The whole time about some... Oh, we ain't got no ice cream. Bitch. Ain't this ain't this uh Chick-fil-A? What's their motto? Have it your way? Or is that Burger King? Who is that? Who motto is have it your way? McDonald's? Bitch, I don't know. Go get some ice cream, bitch. What the fuck? Ain't Chick-fil-A supposed to go above and beyond for their fucking customers? I should have told that bitch, well, get an Uber. <laughs> get an Uber. Matter of fact, this Chick-fil-A is in the Kroger Plaza. Walk your ass over there to Kroger. Go get some fucking ice cream. You just piss me off. But it's okay, because I got a salad. <laughs> That's what I originally went to get anyway, a salad. But then something in me was like, no, fuck that. Get a frosted lemonade. They're gaining on us. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Can I ask y'all a question? The other night when my boyfriend was out here and y'all was, was out here on y'all porch and y'all was pointing and laughing at him, what exactly was y'all talking about? Because that right there made him cry all motherfucking night. <laughs> that nigga said, who was laughing at him? I don't know. Your, your old lady. Like, bitch, I would have been like, shut up, get off my goddamn property. <laughs> would have hit that whole bitch, get off my property. Them drugs had that bitch going. That hoe was high as fuck in that video. That shit was kind of scary. Bitch look like one of them damn zombies from Call of Duty. <laughs> Black Ops, to be specific. Fuck are you talking about? They're gaining on us. <laughs> that shit is so funny because like, what do you mean? Like they gaining? Like like they like they catching up, nigga? Like why you just don't say like them niggas catching up? You talking about they gaining on us? They're like gaining what? Like gaining leverage, gaining momentum, like like they're they're closing the gap. <laughs> Nigga talking about they're gaining on us, Scoob. Scooby probably was so annoyed with them niggas. Scooby probably, y'all know what? Now that I sit here and think about it, like Scooby doing all that shit was like based in what the seventies, wasn't it? Like yeah, it came out when like in the fuck. I think Scooby Scooby Doo been out for a long ass time. When Scooby Doo came out, like the sixties, the fifties, bitch, I don't fucking know. But it was based in like like that Woodstock area, right? Like the hippies in them whatever all them that's when like psychedelics started like hit boy psychedelics hit white people the way crack hit the black community boy white folks used to lose their fucking mind on psychedelics especially like at woodstock and shit and you know it's so crazy to me because like what if what if they really wasn't like seeing monsters and shit what if them niggas was just high and tripping off of fucking psychedelics like acid and fucking shrooms and shit and lsd and all that other shit and dmt whatever the fuck what if them niggas really wasn't seeing no monsters? What if they was just tripping off of fucking psychedelics? Especially with the fact that Scooby could talk. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, Raggy, I'm high as fuck. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are, nigga. We just dropped two tabs, bitch. I know you're high as fuck. <laughs> Me too, Scoob. Fuck is he talking about? These drugs is gaining on us. <laughs> this whole driver, her mama car crazy. She's going nuts. She need to calm down. <laughs> like, bitch, it's gonna be dark. Calm down. Driving like she got somebody to goddamn meet up with. She must be going to catch catch her baby daddy in the act. I'm gonna pull up on that nigga Shanwanda, and he don't even know I'm gonna come over there and whoop his ass and whoop that bitch ass. Little do she know he over there fucking with a nigga. <laughs> that boy is gay. <laughs> that boy is sweet, sweetheart. I'm sorry to break it to you. Like, bitch, don't hit me from the back, hoe slow your dumb ass down y'all ever be breaking and you look in your rearview mirror just because i do that shit all the time like when i be coming to like a halt and i be about to stop i be checking the fuck out my rearview mirror because i be wanting a hoe to hit me don't fucking hit me bitch fuck me wrong with y'all she got my head bibbly bobbly booed on a bibbly dude and a shibbly bobbly blued stupid <laughs> man come on man Big booty truck, nigga, go! Look at this shit. Bitch, go, bitch. It ain't never that motherfucking serious in life. I promise it ain't. Why are you even going that slow? Jig out my head, bibbly tood on a bobbly bib doogling, this snissing. Mm, in the same. <laughs> that nigga be talking like he fucking malfunctioning. Just got my head, me and my doogling and doogling, snooglings. And the billy boot and the boggly <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Why is this nigga swerving? Hey, this little truck up here tripping. This nigga swerving and shit. They got my head. Why don't people turn on their porch lights? Do y'all turn y'all porch lights on? That must be some southern shit. 
Because I be turning my porch light on. You ain't finna just run up on my goddamn house. I gotta know who the fuck outside before I just open my door in the middle of the night. You get it? Well, I would never in life ever even open my door in the middle of the night. But you get what I'm saying? Like somebody could like fuck around and break down and they fuck around and come to my house like, oh, I crashed up here. I need my goddamn porch light on just to see. Let me see what the fuck you look like. Let me see what the fuck you doing. See if anybody else around you. You feel me? That's that's like some stranger shit. Y'all ever seen the strangers? Y'all ever seen the, the, the first The Strangers? Not The Strangers Pray at Night. That shit was terrible. I'm talking about The First The Strangers. When that bitch kept coming to their damn they house, she was knocking on the door. She's talking about some, is Tamara home? She said some shit like that. Y'all know, know what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all ever seen The Strangers? And that nigga and his girlfriend had went to his, um, his summer home. And she had turned down his... Uh, he asked that he proposed to that bitch and that bitch said no but anyway they was leaving a wedding the bitch i'm gonna give y'all the whole goddamn movie plot <laughs> they was leaving a wedding they was leaving a friend wedding or some shit like that i don't know and he proposed to her that bitch said no so they had went back to his his dad's summer house or his lake house or some shit and them motherfuckers them three people because one of them niggas had a goddamn potato sack on his face. And the other two bitches, they had on like some baby dog mask. And they was like terrorizing them niggas inside the house. But they came knocking on their door. And the fucking, the porch light didn't work. I think the bitch had unscrewed the porch light. The porch light ain't work. That bitch came knocking on their door at a random ass time of the night. Scary as shit. Knocking on them folks door talking about some, is Tamara here? Is Tamara home? That nigga said no. What the fuck? A bitch like me, a insane hoe like me, I'd have been like, Shawty, you know, goddamn well, don't no bitch stay here named Tamara, Shawty. The fuck up off my shit before I empty the clip on your goofy ass. I'ma show your ass a Tamara, bitch. And I make this motherfucking this gun go ta 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 Tamara. Fuck is he talking about? I'ma empty that bitch. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that, that's why I be keeping my porch light on just in case. <laughs>